debate night in Georgia. Democratic candidate Stacey Abrams faced Republican candidate Secretary of State Brian Kemp in the race for governor. And the central issue in the debate was possible voter suppression by the Secretary of State Brian Kemp in Georgia. Under Secretary Kemp, more people have lost the right to vote in the state of Georgia. They've been purged, they've been suppressed, and they've been scared. That type of voter suppression feeds the narrative, because voter suppression isn't only about blocking the vote. It's also about creating an atmosphere of fear, making people worry that their votes won't count. With exactly two weeks <clears throat> until Election Day, Brian Kemp and Stacey Abrams are statistically tied in the race for governor. Brian Kemp is being sued by the ACLU, ACLU for suspending more than 53,000 voter registration applications and for rejecting hundreds of absentee ballots for reasons uh, that seem to be trivial. And uh, Brian Kemp is well aware that African American and minority turnout is a problem for his campaign, since that turnout seems to be surging. At a ticketed campaign fundraising event in Atlanta last week, Brian Kemp was secretly recorded discussing Stacey Abrams' high voter turnout. Here is what Kemp told people at that gathering for his campaign in an audio recording obtained by Rolling Stone. As worried as we were going into the start of early voting with the literally tens of millions of dollars that they are putting behind to get out the vote efforts for their base, a lot of that with absentee ballot requests, they have just an unprecedented number of that, which is something that continues to concern us, especially if everybody uh, uses and exercises their right to vote, which they absolutely can, and mails those ballots in. we got to have heavy turnout to offset that. Brian Kemp's campaign confirmed that he was at this event but would not comment on those remarks. It is public information that 766,000 absentee ballots were requested in Georgia for the midterms. Kemp's comments raise further questions about his efforts to suppress voting in Georgia. Here is how Brian Kemp responded to accusations of voter suppression in the debate tonight. Can you stand here tonight and say, as overseer of our state's elections, there is no attempt on your part or your campaign's part to suppress the minority vote that would likely benefit a minority candidate who you are in a statistical dead heat, according to recent polls? Absolutely not. And, and voters should look at the numbers and know that this is all a distraction to take away from Ms. Abrams' extreme agenda. And this farce about voter suppression and people being held up from being on the rolls and being able to vote is absolutely not true. When we come back from this break, Jason Johnson and Latasha Brown will join us from Georgia.